Alright guys, what's going on? It's Camel Money Beats. I'm coming at you today with another Reason 11 tutorial on how to use Cthulhu within Reason 11. Now, if you're kind of researched Cthulhu, you know that it's been difficult using Cthulhu within Reason. It obviously works well with all the other DAWs, but Reason right now, like a lot of other things, they're still catching up and they're doing a good job of it, but there's some things that are still a little bit behind and Cthulhu is one of them. So uh, there's been other videos on how to use similar plugins like Instacord and Scalar within Reason, and I'll make videos on those too. But today, we're going to focus on Cthulhu. And if you don't know what Cthulhu is, it's an amazing plugin. It basically allows you to control another VST with just single note touches, and it kind of does it all very nicely. So right now, I've loaded up this chord uh, pack here, and it's a... Uh, it's an F major scale chord, right? So basically, if I just hit certain notes, right? These are all chords within F major. Look, that was just, I just hit four out of all these chords here, and you could almost make something out of that, right? So I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step, and it's gonna be very simple. We're gonna actually start right now. I'm gonna close this all out, and we're gonna go straight into a new channel here. So. What you want to do is you want to start with a new synth channel, okay? You're going to open it up. And uh, I use combinators for everything. You don't have to, but that's what I do. And I even also do this little line six mixer. These are little tricks that I can show you a little bit later. Now, the key for using this right now in this time is using another VST. And I know that, you know, it's like, Cam, I just want to use Cthulhu without using other stuff. I know, but this actually makes it pretty smooth. It's by Blue Cat. It's called Patchwork Synth VST. All right. So you're going to load that up. I have my other one loaded here. Now, basically, this Patchwork Synth, it is kind of like another patch bay that's put into a VST. And you can load almost any kind of, you know, EQ or instruments into it and kind of, you know, line it all together. So this is going to be very simple. What you're going to do in one of these spots here, we're going to click on this little, when your mouse comes up and this little dot, you click on that, you're going to load VST. We're going to load Cthulhu first. So for Cthulhu, we are going to find it in our files here. Luckily for me, I've done this a couple of times, so I know exactly what my Cthulhu is. And it's usually going to be, if you're on Windows, like some kind of program files and either a VST or like a Steinberg VST. And uh, I have it right here, Cthulhu X64. That version for me works. I don't know why. So I open it up. Here's Cthulhu. It automatically starts playing arpeggiator. You can just click this little art button and that goes away. All right. So I have this set up here now. And I'm going to just pick a quick, let's say, jazz R and B E, right? So right now, if I hit my keyboard, okay, so you can see that it's playing stuff, but there's no sound, right? So we need to add another instrument. We need to add the actual VST for what we're controlling. So that is where we come back to Patchwork, and you want to, again, click on this thing. Now, if you want to load, if you're Reason 11 and you have the, re the uh, VST thing, you can come to load VST3 and find the reason rack thing and load it like as I did there. Just because I had that other one loaded there, I'm going to show you how to do just another basic one, for example. So I'm going to load VST and I'm going to come here and I'm going to pull up Alchemy. Alchemy is another VST. If you're not familiar with it, they have very nice sounds. I would suggest it. They have, you know, for all kinds of beats, for hip hop, for EDM. Um, definitely check them out. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that. You can see my little mouse wheel took a while to load this one just because it's through patchwork. I'm going to bring this back over here. So now let's let's pick our sound, right? So let's say we want to do a, let's just pick something quick, like an organ, chill organ, okay? So now just loading this, if you do nothing, this is what happens. <laughs> So you notice those are just individual notes, right? And you can see Cthulhu is triggering, but nothing's happening. So what you need to do is you actually need to route to have Cthulhu play this synth. And you do it all 
through this patchwork. So let me close these out real quick. By the way, if you want to access those at any time, these little buttons right here, when you click those, it pops up. And that's it right there. So what I'm going to do now is, like I said, I am, I'm hitting my keyboard. It's triggering the single note, but I need the single note to have Cthulhu trigger alchemy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Cthulhu, not right click, just regular click on Cthulhu. And you're going to see all these options. You're going to go to MIDI output and you're going to pick a port. I'm just going to pick port A. That's simple. I'm going to go to alchemy. Now that I've sent it out to this random port, I need to have alchemy say, oh, okay, let me accept the MIDI information from that port and we'll go from there. So alchemy, I'm going to go to MIDI input. Now it's automatically going to have it on the host, which is what it is right now, just playing the single notes. Now I'm going to add port A all channels. Technically now it's done. I like to do another step. I like to click it one more time, go back to input and remove the host input. And that way now Alchemy is only going to receive MIDI information from Cthulhu. So let's check it out. I'm going to have this open right here. I'm going to hit some of these notes. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. So let's say I wanted to use that, right? That's pretty, that's not, that's not bad. So let's say I put it at like, you know, let's say I make this random BPM. All you're gonna do is this is this is the sound that I this is the sound one is my combinator for this patch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to sound one, I'm gonna hit my record, right? You can have the uh, little thing going here, and then just go. Let's do it in key though, or let's do it in time. That's recorded. That's it. Now, I know other videos, you'll be like, Cam, there's another video that people do that, but you can't actually print it. I'm going to tell you even, and that's the thing. This is the one thing that I'm, I'm waiting for reason to fix that. Like, this is nice that I can make, that we can make it this way, but it would be nice where the future where Cthulhu would actually print this full chord as the MIDI on here so that we could actually drag it and put it on other things. But for now, look, We've made these beautiful chords, right? Let me, let's make a little loop here, a little four bar loop, and just, you know, drag this over here. Look at this. That's done. Okay. All right. And if you want to do that, right? And you can add your legs. lag and this thing is terrible. I'm not going to do that in the future. But the point is you can basically build from there. And if you wanted to just make sure like, Cam, is this really working? All you would do, this is how I double check anything. Make sure you can bounce the audio. Bounce it in place. And if the audio comes there, exporting, boom, there's the audio. Let's play it back. There you go. So that's how you make Cthulhu work in Reason and how you can print the audio and you can use it in your beats or your compositions and things like that. So I'm going to make more videos on Cthulhu, other things in Reason. And uh, definitely, if you have any questions, comment down below. And I'm going to start making more videos for you guys. So thanks so much for watching and uh, have a good day.